Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back. We have another course spotlight video today. We are doing another dream team course submission for said municipal made by Mayday, who is a well-known designer on the game, has plenty of courses that have been featured on the TGC tours. He helped with the Vangelis Golf Club, the Tournament Edition, Fisheye Bay, Monterey Bay Country Club. There's a ton. I'll put a link down in the description so you can check out not only this course, but the designer's profile if you want to play any of the other courses they have made. But today, with the Dream Team submission, we are playing Merced Municipal. Or Merced? Merced Municipal? One of the two. If you want to play the course without, you know, the grandstands and crowds and all of that jazz, it is available to you to play as well. But today we're going to be playing through the tour version since I normally focus on the more competitive TGC Tour side. Also, as this course is going to be played this year on the Plat Tour for the Montego Bay Classic on December 28th. So that's going to be very, very exciting. We're going to look to go out there and try it out. First time playing. So let's head out into the course, take a look at it, and get to swinging. All right, first things first. Let's uh, take a peek at what we have for a course here. So here's the setting, city landscape. Here's the course that we are going to be working with. Oh, yeah. Good backdrop with some water that we're going to have to work with as well. This little driving range there. Good clubhouse. Yeah, this looks good. Looks like some decent dog legs here, too. All right, I'm excited. Let's go out. Uh, let's get this done. Good landing zones. Kind of a little bit of a risk reward here. We'll see how the rough plays. Starting around with a big boy eat drive here. Contouring back into the fairway. Love it. See if we can get a shot up in here. Nice, starting her off with a perfect. Pulled it a touch, but... Oh, yeah. That is a beauty. Starting her off with a birdie. I am all for it. Well, if we can drop this. <laughs> There's always the potential we miss those. <laughs> Which would have been bad, but would have been par for the course for me. Ooh, long par three. All right. We're going to have to try to eat a little distance off of this. Try to take it into that slope to lessen the blow. It's a tough little slope to hold there. Oh, a little too far still. Let's see what happens with this. It's probably going to roll off backside, be my guess. Oh, it might actually hold enough. Yeah, it's off backside. That's gonna be a tough. That's gonna be a tough green to hold. You have to hit that short, and you have to hit it right. Marshall shot that next time. Try it out. Actually, slightly worried that it Hill's gonna eat that up. Oh yeah, we fasted it. Should be able to get an up and down here. Oh, barely. That didn't break there for a second. That kind of worried me. Up and down for par. I'm a big fan of that green. Coming in on that par three. That's a really tough, that's a really tough green to hold. You're going to have to hit a really good shot coming in there. 
Downhill slopes out. Oof. This is a this is a risk reward shot too. This might actually make bunker. And if it does, we'll see how it plays. But this might be a prime candidate to take a three wood into. Okay. Fairways are just soft enough. Ooh, nice tuck pin. Hidden behind downslope, but you still have a backstop, so you don't run into too much trouble. Unless you miss this on a slow, which would be awful. <laughs> we just did. This isn't going to be good. This is going to be a bad putt. It held, but... Yeah, this is a nasty putt. You have to keep it on the left side there. Let's see what we get. Tough to make this. We can just get a nice little lag putt. I'm happy. Oof. Wow, way too hard. That carried a ton of speed. Holy cow. Not a green that you want to miss at. At least not for round one pins. I like it. It's partially hidden, and it looks like an easy shot out when you're out, but if you slow that just a touch, that putt becomes whew, real tough. If anything, you probably want to miss that left. Getting good contouring back into the fairway. I'm always a fan of that. Especially courses like this. Nice little dog leg to the right. Get into a situation where we have a strong wind in our face. This hole could actually become... Potentially a problem coming in on your second shot. You might have to end up fading it around. And you'd be fading it into this green. That would be... That'd be something. Again, a nice little tucked pin. Uh, it's going to be hard, especially if you get into like firm, very firm scenarios. This might actually be hard to hold greens. You might have to rely on chipping. Which I'm not against. At all. This green has a good spot for pins as well. For four pins. I really like the aesthetic of this course overall. Yeah, even that. Couldn't hold. It's going to be tough. That you have to really precision shot into some of these greens cannot miss your spots oh man I pushed it just a touch just a touch that is a bummer little ghost break just a touch of ghost break back to even Nice little split fairway. No point in taking a driver out for this. Let's get a three wood up here close. Take a wedge in. Should be easy. Good bunker placements. I mean, you probably could have took a driver up there and pitch in, but should be all right here. Oh yeah. Again, tough green. It's 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 tucked in a tight location. We're bringing a wedge in, so that won't matter as much. But, I mean, you miss it left, you're going to have a really bad putt or bad chip in. Uh, if, you, if you miss it right, you miss it right enough, you could end up down here or... You have to, you have, to have very precise shots in, which I am a big fan of. And the tip, the tuck, the, the really tucked pins in these tight locations aren't unrealistic. You know, it's not like you have to bring a three iron in. You know, it's you're bringing wedges, you're bringing irons, so you have a chance to get it to stop. It's just you really have to hit your spot with it. A 
mean, we kind of got a little lucky there. It'll work out. Wind affected that a little bit more than I thought it would. We're going to take this ball to Pound Town. Should be good. Yep. All right, back to negative. Got that bogey right back. Here's our first par five. Whiny little hole, but it does slope out to give you a little bit extra distance to work with draw. I needed to keep that a little bit more left to come in, but this will still work out. I would rather hit that little hill right there to get a little extra distance out of my drive. Short part five, though. Ooh, but look at this green. All sloping out. More than likely, you're going to end up down here and have yourself a putt. But I think we have a good shot. At maybe trying to get this to roll down this hill. Except we fasted it. You have to work around that tree, too. That's tricky. That's, you need to keep this left. You definitely need to keep this left. Hitting that tree would have been really bad. And now we're in a situation that's rocking a hard place down this hill. The heavy rough isn't too bad, though. I'm actually going to bring a sad widget. Oh! Dang. We should be good enough to get our birdie, though. So even though that was a shorter par five, it's still uh, that's a, still a tough pin to actually get yourself into position to get an eagle there. Need to keep that drive left. Much more left. The locations of the dog legs and the sand traps are really nice too. Brings them into play, and I like that. Ward's good shots, but... Punishes those that have bad shots off the tee. You want to finish below the hole here. Nice little waste area down there. Oh, that actually, that actually carried a lot more than I thought it was going to. Say I want to finish beneath the hole, and I end up slamming that home. Still got our birdie, though. Precision again. Need to be precise. It doesn't look like a tough green to hold, but I slowed that even a touch, and that thing is gone. 24 up. Got some ledges here. Guessing all of the pins are more than likely going to be backside for this hole. Maybe you could tuck one here, but that would be pretty wild. Let's see if we can get this up. I'm going to have to overpower it. I don't want to use my 3 iron here. Uh, except I very fasted it. That's a bummer. Down to the waist area we go. Let's see what the shot looks like coming in here. Too bad. Too hard. That's all right. Still get our up and down. Still get our up and down. That's a tough hole for me. I mean, I'm in between clubs there. It might not be as hard for others, but... Ooh. <laughs> you want to? Might be able to shoot the gap here. Yeah, oh, man. 
I really want to. Is that I'm, I guess that's all. Yeah, it's all OB. Oh, what would happen if we did bring it down here? We have about a buck forty to go. Man, if we had a win to the left, uh, that'd be tempting not to go for that. I feel like you'd have to go for it. We'll just poop a three wood down here and cut the corner a little bit. Oh, uh, I want to go for it though. I probably should have. We're just playing this, but now nah, I want to play this how it's how it's intended. If we had a little bit more of a win, maybe left into our back a little bit, it'd be hard not to go for this. But I mean, holding the green would probably be impossible unless you hit this like perfectly in here somewhere to give yourself a nice skip. Have the fairway slow it down a little bit, maybe. I don't know. That'd be tough. That'd be tough, but it'd be fun to at least try. It'd be very fun to try. Said we're gonna take a little gap wedge pitch in. I fasted a touch. Still have a shot at it though. All right, all right, four under at the turn. Could have done a lot better, I feel. Four under still a hell of a turn though. Nice little par five protected by bunkers up there, it looks like. See what we get for a distance coming in for just a normal drive for me. Contouring on the fairway again to give you a little extra distance on this par five. 255 coming in. All right. I'll have to do a little bit of a fade in here. Overpower it a smidge. See if we can hit this thing on a perfect line. Fast it. Through the tree we go. Ooh, I really fasted it too. Alright, taking a pitch in instead. Unfortunate. Like, it looks like a straightforward par 5. Like, oh, I'm just going to hit it down the fairway, and we'll just take an easy 3-wood in. But then once you hit it into the fairway, and you take a peek at where the pin is located and the green that you're working with, you're like, oh, this is going to be very, very difficult to get there into. I slowed it. It's very deceiving. It's very deceiving like that. All right, we just got to save par now. Dang. This is not an easy putt either. We missed this. This could roll a little bit. That is a very deceiving par five, at least for round one pins. I'm actually happy with the par there. Even if I would have got that pitch close, that would have been a really tough birdie to get. That's a, that's, that's, that's a tough little dog leg right there. Definitely, uh, I had the Bridgestone in mind. Tough green coming, too, also. Oof. And it's protected by a tree. Fuck. And I gotta try to draw this in. And maybe try to run it down this hill. Uh, going straight for the pin is suicide. I 
enough club. I wanted to just land that kind of like halfway up front side green, but uh, I just didn't have enough club there. No, I'll take it. We at least have a chance at par here. Whew. Snuck that one in. We got her up and down, though. Again, we get a nice little breeze at her back. We could probably go for this. I mean, we're going to hit it down here anyways, but... I actually straight balled it. Still might be okay. It is a tight pin that we're coming into from down here, but we might be able to splash it up and save it. We gotta be perfect with it though. I'm gonna need a little extra on this. That'll work. That'll work. Slow, 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 slow. Whew, that is not a place you wanna be. Okay. We definitely need to keep that left in the fairway. Oh, that feels good. That feels good, though. What a putt. Nice little birdie. Get ourselves down to five under. Man, I'm trying to think of, like, things I don't like about this course right now. And, uh... This course is very, very good. Like, even with this. Like, normally I wouldn't like a pin like this. Because it's like... I mean, come on. We got three yards till we're at fairway. But it's it's like a fair pin. Like you you you. It's yes, it's tight, but you can also shoot it over here. It's not, like it becomes um, a, a much uh, better pin to hit into. You can hit it over to the left, and again, it, it it opens up over here. It's it's tight to the fairway, but it's still you still have a ton of green to work with in order to make this putt back into this hole. And if you go long, like that's death. I mean, it 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 forces you into making a very very precise shot into the hole and normally i'm not a, i'm not a, a huge fan personally of pins that are this tight to the fairway but i think on a green like this hitting into a green like this i i actually don't mind it it's it's a, a very fair pin And just the overall structure of the greens is really good. It, it forces you into making a very precise shot. Although it doesn't look like it at first glance, if you really like dive into the greens, you have to make very precise approach shots, which I think is a good way to separate difficulty instead of making just these wild greens. Forcing into a situation like this is a lot better. And then you come out here and somebody like me who's had a problem with their swing, you just fast everything and uh, put yourself into a position of nothing but pain. That's what this is. This is pain. Just get it up on the green. See if we can save another par. We can. All right. My gosh, if it wasn't for my putting within 10, this could be a really, really bad round. Man, these are right on the cusp of going for it and not going for it because it's too risky. 
These are right. All these are right on. Look at all that OB. These are right on. Right on the cusp of it. I love it. Absolutely love it. It's going to be one of those things like, well, you could go for it. See what happens. You might end up in a bad situation, though. Let's see what happens with this one. Let's see how, how this rolls up onto the green, maybe. Pick up some speed. No. Need a little bit more wind. I want to end this short. We do. We're going to put a little extra on it just to get it up there a little bit further, but we definitely want this short. Perfect. Now let's take home our birdie. Boom shakalaka. Nice little birdie. Six under. All right. I'm all right with that. I am all right with that. Big sweeping dog leg left here. All uphill for a landing zone. So we probably will not be making it there in two. Probably take it up to the right side there, just past that bunker, that first bunker. Dread straight ball. We're not even going to make it there. All right, playing this three iron. All right, we'll have a nice pitch in on our second. Again, more of a tucked pin. But again, it works. It just works. Probably a pin here, one of the rounds. Pin up here. Definitely a pin back right. Maybe the last one's right in mid. That'd be interesting. This would be an interesting pin to work with. Working with this plateau and this plateau. It could be a fun pin. Perfect, but I pulled it. This will still work out nicely, though. Oh yeah, beauty. Again, relies on good approach shots. And that was a good approach shot. Seven under, not too shabby. Is it worth taking a driver into this? Probably, that leaves us with a pretty long second shot if we don't, yeah, we're taking driver. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice little sloping down towards the green as well. So we're going to be back into a pitch range here. Try to get this close for another birdie. Definitely want to be below the hole. Go past the hole. This could be a nightmare. Well, now we definitely solidified uh, that we won't be going past the hole. Maybe we can drain Omaxis, though. Pass it. All right, try to save our par now. Okay. At least we saved it. We've been up and down on pars, which is good. So we're coming to 17. What a par three. Okay. This is a fun one. Perched up again on a nice little, very thin ledge, but if you hit it down here, it's still a very makeable putt. Going long again is not good. 
You do not want to go long, and we're back into a position of... We have to be very, very precise with our shots coming in. 9-133. Does that put us? This actually might be all right. Gap in. As long as you don't fast it. Get up a little bit more. Dang. Just needed a little bit more. It's a tough putt. This uphill putt, it's not. We got it up just enough that it didn't roll back, thank God. I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. I undershot it. That was an easy birdie. Not an easy birdie, but that's a birdie I should have had. If you don't get the power right, the because you're going uphill, that slope's going to eat that ball alive. Oh, what a great hole to end off on. It's almost like a pebble style hole right here. I like this. All OB as well. Oh, big fan of this. Let's see if we can get in there. Too fast. No! <laughs> Too fast. We're going to try it again. Tin cup time. Ah, uh, that's a bummer. Again, very risk-reward. There's a lot of risk-reward to this course, which I love. This is not an easy second shot up. This is a long par three. Nice little waste area over here, just in case you get some situation that uh, you get a little bit of a wind and uh, kind of get scared to go for it. This might be a hole where you actually have to just play for par. Man, we might double bogey this. That's a killer. That's an actual round killer. Holy cow. All right. This is not a hole you want to mess with. Yeah, we're going to double bogey this. Bye-bye round. That can, really, uh, that can really eat you up, especially in a tournament setting. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Five under is what we finish. 55% green in regulation. Hitting a clip of 71% in fairway. That, I mean, granted, I did have some pretty bad approach shots, but that's a pretty drastic difference, 71 to 55. Like, I'm hitting the fairways, but I can't get my approach shots in. Man, what a course that was. I'm actually really excited to play that on the tour now for our platinum rounds. That was, uh, that was really fun. It seems a little bit easier, just like when you're first looking at it, you're like, ah, man, this doesn't look too bad. I feel like I can score on this pretty easily. But at least for round one pins, it really puts you into a scenario where you have to make just some pinpoint approach shots. And it's not even like you have to make pinpoint approach shots to have the best chance to make. It's not like one of the, it's not like a course where if you don't hit a pinpoint approach shot, you know, you have a hundred foot putt or instantly chip because you're running off the green. If you miss your approach shots, you still have putts into the hole, but they're just a little bit nutty. Heavy breakers on ledges. You have to be you have to be very precise. This is a very tough course. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Big fan. And boy oh boy, every single one of these Dream Team courses I've played have just been phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And this is right on there with a course that is absolutely phenomenal. You should give it a shot. Or said municipal. Either the tour edition, fans. Stay, stands or you can just play the non-tour edition none of the stands or tv towers or, or any of that is in it if you just want to go out and shoot around and golf you can but there it is go give it a play go check out mayday and the rest of his courses that he's made great designer and a great set of courses in there if you want to try them all out that's all she wrote for me today 
If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like on the video. Or think about subscribing to the channel. Plenty more PGA Tour content to come. Be on the lookout for my Challenge Circuit Course Guide as well. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world, and we will catch you on the next one. Deuces.